Okay, so first of all, I'm going to select these three columns here. Then I'm going to go to insert and insert a line chart. In order to format this quickly, I'm going to use a template that I made earlier. Then I'll right click on one of the lines and go to change series chart type. And I'll change the minimum to be a stacked area chart and also change the maximum to be a stacked area chart and OK. This makes the maximum way too big. What I actually want is to have the maximum minus the minimum. And I'll double click to send that formula down, then select the green area and drag the range across. Now I'm going to do some formatting to this chart. So I'll double click on it to open up the formatting pane and select the orange area and change the fill to no fill. Then select the green area and I'll change this to have a blue fill and also have 50% transparency. Then I'll select the line and I'll make this thinner. Then I need to give this a chart title, so we'll call this seasonal cycles. And then I will right click on the chart and go to select data and then edit the horizontal axes so instead of having numbers, I'll have the months of the year and OK and OK again. Now we've got the first chart created. I am going to select this and then press Control D to duplicate it. And now we have two charts. I'm then going to select this chart here and change the values in it. So I will drag the minimum range across and then select the line and drag the average across. And I need to calculate the maximum again. So we'll do maximum minus minimum and then double click to send that down. Then I can select the blue area and drag the maximum range across as well. Then I want to have these two charts overlapping. So in order to do that, I'm going to select this chart here and go to format and then bring the chart to the front. Then I'm going to change the fill to no fill. I'll hold down control in order to select both of these charts and go to shape format and align and align center and then align and align middle. And now these two charts are perfectly overlapping. Of course, I need to make some changes to the formatting here. So I'll move this chart out of the way again and move this one to the side. And to make this a bit easier, I'm going to go to view and then remove the grid lines. The first thing I need to do is make sure both of the axes match each other. So I will select this axis here and change the maximum to be 180. Then I'm going to change the color of this line. So I'll change the fill here to green. And then I will select the line and change this here to green as well. Then I want to remove everything in this chart that I don't need. So I'm going to get rid of the border for the chart and also for the plot area. Then I'll select the axes here and get rid of the line and also remove the line for this axis. Then I'll delete the grid lines. Now for the chart title, I'm going to go to text options and change it to no fill. And we'll also change the text to no fill on the axes as well. And now we can overlap these charts and it will look like one chart. The last thing that I want to change here is the legend. So I am going to select this line and then take it, take the heading here and drag it upwards so that it tells me that it is cycle A. So the legend has the correct name in it. Then I will select the minimum and delete it and select the maximum and delete it and then select cycle A on its own 
and I'll hold down shift and then move the legend to the side. Holding down shift means I can't accidentally move the legend up or down. And I will line that up as best I can. And then I'm going to do the same thing for the other chart. So we'll drag this across. And then I'll delete the minimum and the maximum and change the line here so that the name of this series is cycle B. But I'll leave cycle B here in the middle in the legend. Now if I take both of these charts, I can go to shape format and align and align center and align middle. And now you'll see that the legend looks way more normal. Now I'm going to do this a third time so we can include cycle C as well. So I'll select the cycle B chart and then press Ctrl D to duplicate it. Then to make this easier for myself, I'm going to open up the selection pane. This here is the chart for cycle A. So I'm going to change this to cycle A. Then this here, I will call this chart cycle B. And this chart here, I'll call cycle C. Then I will hide the charts for cycle A and cycle B. So I only have to deal with the third chart. Then I'm going to go back to view and show the grid lines again. And I'm going to calculate the maximum for cycle C. So I'll do maximum minus minimum again and double click to send that down. Then I'll go back to the formatting bar and we'll select the minimum series. And then I can drag this across. Then I'll select the maximum series and we'll drag this across and then select cycle B, so the line, and then drag this across. And again, we need to change the heading here so it says cycle C. Then I'll format this, so I'll change it to no fill, and I'll change this to orange, and give it a 50% transparency. Then select the line, and I will make this orange, and then make the line thinner. Then I need to take the legend here and hold down shift and drag the legend to the other side this time. Then I can go back to the selection pane and I can show the other two charts again. And I'll hold down control and select them all inside the selection pane and go to shape format and align and align center and align middle. Then, while I still have them all selected, I'm going to group them together. And now I have a group, I can move these all together as if they are one object. Okay, so in this video, I have shown you how to make a chart that has multiple overlapping uncertainty areas. And that is everything.